God Crystal Presence. Ten Legendary Warrior Cultures of Ancient History. Number 10. Maori Warriors. Having a reputation for eating their enemies in order to capture their mana, that is their respect. The Maori are the indigenous Polynesian people of New Zealand. They were believed to have settled into New Real Maori warrior chief wielding a mir in New Zealand around 1280 AD. War was common between tribes, generally over land conflicts or to gain or restore mana, spiritual power and prestige. The Maori people believed that combat was sacred to their ancestors and they fought to acquire mana spiritual power and prestige. Cannibalism was fueled by the desire to gain the mana of a foe defeated in battle. Unlike most native cultures, the Maori were never conquered. They were fierce warriors who would engage in a purupayu, or war dance, prior to attacking their enemies in order to intimidate them and even give them a preview of the ensuing slaughter. Number 9. Knights. Knights were great warriors clad in full body armor on horseback. Honor was the cornerstone concept for knights of the medieval era. The code of the knights was to protect the weak, defenseless, helpless, and fight for the general welfare of all. They were the richest, most trained warriors, and had the armor, weapons, and horses to get the job done. They fought in massive suits of armor, usually weighing 40-60 pounds, although some plate armor is estimated to have weighed more than 100 pounds. An armored knight on armored horse would have been like a tank on the battlefield. They were among the toughest soldiers in history to kill because of their armor. They were the perfect example of the warriors and gentlemen. Number 8 Roman Legion. Of all the greatest ancient warriors, the Romans were perhaps the most pragmatic. The Roman military took whatever worked and gradually made it into their own. A Roman Legion normally indicates the basic ancient Roman army unit recruited specifically from Roman citizens. The organization of legions varied greatly over time but they were typically composed of up to 5,400 soldiers. They were the backbone of the Roman army that led to an empire that was unrivaled in terms of size and power. They were usually heavy infantry with armor and a shield modeled after the ancient Greeks. They were masters of the sword and spear combination going along with the shield. They were made up of the wealthiest soldiers that could afford to make the best weapons and armor. Because of the enormous military successes of the Roman Empire, they has long been regarded as the prime ancient model for military efficiency and ability. Number 7. Mongol Warriors The Mongol warriors under the rule of the mighty Genghis Khan were a huge army of fearsome fighters that grew up knowing only war and violence. The power and fortitude of these mighty warriors allowed the Mongols to control one of the largest empires ever known. Such was the battle skill and military might of the Mongolian warriors. Becoming a warrior of this nomadic empire, meant military service was a way of life for all men over the age of 15. From that age and likely to death who were a Mongol warrior, one of the most successful warriors from ancient history. Tactical and calculating, the Mongol warriors employed many tactics when it came to war. Fighting was never a simple exhibition of force, it was a paced, evaluated and considered option. The Mongols would fight using formations, proven battle tactics and were comfortable with a bow. If no bow was to hand, then the Mongol warriors was more than comfortable and highly capable using a saber or a spear to fell their foe. They were highly disciplined and masters with using the bow and arrow on horseback. The armory comprised of a variety of bows for reaching a multitude of targets with special howling arrows used to disorientate the enemy. Number 7. Apache, Apache warriors. warriors The Apache tribes were historically very strong and strategic, opposing the Spanish and Mexican people for centuries. Their warriors were like the ninjas of America. They are still legendary for their fierceness, relentlessness, and the hardship of their upbringing. Young Apache warriors were tested almost to the point of destruction. Boys were often trained to go without sleep, to sit for long periods of time without moving or making a sound. 
They would sneak up behind you and slit your throat without you even knowing. They used primitive weapons made mostly of wood and bone. They were also the greatest knife fighters the world has ever seen and were pretty good with the tomahawk and throwing axe. They terrorized the southwest United States and even the military had trouble beating them. Apache earned the number 4 spot on the top 10 legendary warrior cultures of ancient history list. Number 5. Ninja, Ninja Warriors. Warriors The Ninja emerged as mercenaries in the 15th century, where they were recruited as spies, raiders, arsonists and even terrorists. The Ninja was stealth soldiers and mercenaries hired mostly by daimyos. Their primary roles were those of espionage and sabotage, although assassinations were also attributed to Ninja. They are known for using a canata like sword, blowgun, ninja stars, and kusurigama which would be my weapon of choice. They are known for being stealthy shadow warriors of the night. They greatly feared for their ability to kill and just disappear. They were also great martial artists and underwent triggerous training. Number 4. Samurai Warriors Samurai were the military nobility of medieval and early modern Japan and the masters of the katana. They led their lives according to the code of Bushido, meaning way of the warrior. They were heavily armed soldiers covered in armor and willing to die for their masters. They wielded the sharpest sword the world has ever seen and it could easily slice a man in two. Their skills with this sword are unmatched. They were also masters of the Yumi and were some of the best shots of the ancient world. They meditated upon their death, and the wisdom that they were already dead, in order to throw themselves into battle without fear. They were like professional soldiers and were harshly trained and fought knowing their honor was on the line. Due to their violent habits, peasants soon rose up against them and the ninja was born. They turned their warrior culture into an art and almost to the edge of enlightenment, this path peaking with writings like the Hagakyo and the Book of Five Rings. Number 3. Viking, Viking Warriors Viking warriors Viking warrior were highly feared across Europe for their brutal attacks and unorthodox for the time weapon of choice, the battle axe. Well known for their close quarter fighting style and berserkers. Most Vikings warriors were modestly armored with only the king's guard usually having chain mail. The victims of the Vikings would see dragon-headed ships coming to shore, blood-red sails and snarling grinding Viking warriors wielding heavy battle axes. This all added up to make it easy to see why the Vikings had a fearsome reputation within Europe. The Viking fighting style was based on rapid attacks, go in and attack, get the goods, and then get out before any more backup could arrive. With their homemade clothing and weapons they would rely on their quick and ferocious attack style to ensure success. Number 2. The Mormolugs Warriors The Mormolugs ruled Egypt and Syria from 1250 until 1517. They were slave soldiers who converted to Islam and served the Muslim caliphs and the Ayyubid sultans during the Middle Ages. Over time, they became a powerful military caste who overthrew their masters, defeated the Mongols and the Crusaders and established a dynasty that lasted 300 years. After Mormolucks had converted to Islam, many were trained as cavalry soldiers. Mormolucks had to follow the dictates of Ferusilia, a code that included values such as courage and generosity, and also cavalry tactics, horsemanship archery and treatment of wounds, etc. Mormoluk's life prepared him for little else but war and loyalty to his lord. Number 1. Spartans, Spartans Warriors The Spartan city-state was without question one of the greatest warrior cultures in human history. It reached the height of its power after defeating rival city-state Athens in the Peloponnesian War. Spartan culture was centered on loyalty to the state and military service. At age 7, Spartan boys entered a rigorous state-sponsored education, military training and socialization program. Their culture was all about war and training men for war their entire lives. They had a saying, come back with the shield or on top of it which means don't come back unless you are victorious. They were some of the toughest soldiers the world had ever seen. They were masters of the shield and spear combination. 
any weakness was intolerable to the Spartans. Their warriors were feared and marveled at among all the Greek city-states of the time, including the Spartan women. Subscribe the channel to get notified about new videos.